It's another rainy day in LA, but we know a way to make the rain rain go away. It's time for an Oscars themed game with your host, Swagman. That's right, everybody, it's me, Swagman is back. I am so happy to be with you all today. I hope you're all ready to have a fun game as we prep for the weekend. It's Oscars weekend. The the film and television awards season has led to this moment this weekend. And we are here to enjoy a little bit more of that season before it ends. Uh, I'm excited. I, I, I Look, I'm sorry if you were expecting Jimmy Kimmel to host this game like he's but he's you know he's prepping for Sunday he's prepping for Sunday you know my personal favorite Oscars host because this is the 95th Oscars if I'm correct 95 I would have gone with personally maybe they reached out maybe he wasn't available I'd have gone with Billy Crystal Billy Crystal is so good just like the best Oscars host anywhere I'm gonna try and do that sort of amazing Oscarsness myself, right? From my monologue all the way to my closing 10 minute song, I think we are going to have a lot of fun today. Now it is March 10th, which is also and I oh and really quick, I'm seeing I'm seeing the comments. Yes, uh, Bob Hope, amazing host, amazing host. Like don't get me wrong, Bob Hope did great. Seth MacFarlane was fun. I think he hosted once, maybe twice, but Billy Crystal just brought something. Just brought something that was so just, I don't know. Je ne sais pas, I believe is how you say it in French. Uh, but it's Mar I was saying it's March 10th today, which means it's Mario Day. Yeah, someone just said it in the comments. It's Mario Day. And I gotta say, I feel like the Super Mario Brothers movie that's coming out missed an opportunity to release this weekend. Am I right? Like, couldn't couldn't they have released it on Mario Day? This would have been perfect. I I could be wrong. It's still a month out, but I think they should have released it this weekend. I think that way it would have just flowed so well, and you could be like, hey, it's Mario Day. What are you going to go do? Oh, I'm going to go watch the Mario movie. It's just, this is why they got to talk to me. Everybody, look, everybody, you guys got to talk to me about this idea. Any ideas, really. And, uh, and it'll be, it'll be better. <laughs> uh, what do you say, folks? Is it time for the glitz, the glamour, and the pageantry of the Oscars? Well, yeah, on Sunday it is. Until then, how about an all-Oscars Friday Flash edition of Swagbucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Now, the way this game works is simple. We'll describe a best picture winner from Oscars history. You'll tell us the movie as you play for today's grand prize. Shall we take a look at that grand prize? Well, there it is. $1,000. And when you correctly answer 10 multiple choice trivia questions, identifying past best picture winners, you will win your share of it. Now, in this game, you'll win one bonus SP for every question you get right after question number one even if you've already been eliminated. If that happens, you need to claim your bonus SP at the end of the game by clicking a button that appears once the game has ended. You know what I say, if you don't win the game, you must click claim. But grand prize winners, they get their bonuses claimed automatically, and you know that I call that one of the perks. Now, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize, either using SB or with a free rejoin. Just click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu at any time a game is not happening, and you can get free rejoins by watching videos. It's that easy. And hey, each game, we give away a 500 SB prize to one player who wins and claims at least one SB in the game. And we announce each game's winner at the beginning of the following game, and the winner from Thursday's game was... It's me, Z! Congratulations! Your SB have already been credited. There you go. It's there. Everyone else, keep on playing and claiming. Because next time, the winner could be Y-O-U. That spells you. Now, there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Live outside of our live games. First is through the Daily Trivia Challenge, a once-a-day hostless version of our game that you can play on your schedule. I already played it today. I got my SB. Now, it resets 
each night at midnight Pacific time. So go check that out. The second way is to click the more ways to earn button in the main menu to access an exclusive offer wall with opportunities to get SB towards your daily goal. I'm there. We're done. We got it, folks. 20,000 people in the game. The Oscars-themed trivia is on its way, so let's swipe away the comments as we get to question one with 20,200 people. Here we go. Q1. This Rob Marshall adaptation of a Candor and Ebb musical took home the statue for Best Picture in 2003. Was it Mamma Mia, Bohemian Rhapsody, or Chicago? Which one of those took home the Best Picture in 2003? Well, Catherine Zeta-Jones also took home an award for Best Supporting Actress in the film that helped revive the movie musical. The Oscar went to... Chicago! Chicago is the answer, and it's my kind of town, if I'm being honest. We had a... a look, we had 14,000 of you get that one right, but it, a tough first question. Only 73% of you got that one right. A lot of people went with Mamma Mia. Bohemian, Bohemian Rhapsody only came out a few years ago, people. Not 2003. Mamma Mia, I don't know when that came out, but it was not a Best Picture winner. Chicago was, though. And, uh, look, that's okay. It's It slipped away from you there, but you can rejoin, right? You can... And after the game, you can go watch some videos to get some rejoins. It's going to be fine. We're going to keep it going. 5,000 people back in the game. We're moving on to question two now. We're the bonus SB. Here we go. Kevin Costner took home the Oscar for Best Picture and Best Director in 1991 for this sweeping Western. Was it Dances with Wolves, Silverado, or Unforgiven? Now, I know it could be confusing, but you got to remember, folks, the, the the movies win the year after, right? So, like, we're talking about the 1991 Oscars here, but the movie I'm about to tell you about came out in 1990. So, now, Kevin Costner was already a star, right? But who knew he could direct? Did you know? N nobody did until this moment. While he had some flops ahead of him, this movie stands as a classic. The Oscar went to... Dances with Wolves. Dances with Wolves is the answer. 96% of you getting that one right. 17,000 people were back in it to win it. Well done. Yeah, the movies and the Oscars, it's it's kind of like cars. You know how you can buy a 2017 in 2016? Well, you're winning the 2017 Oscar for the 2016 movie. That's just, it's kind of, it's kind of how it works. Uh, also, quick shout out to the movie Silverado because it's amazing and Kevin Costner's in it. And if you haven't watched it, Lawrence Kasdan wrote and directed it. And you just gotta watch it. So, quick shout out there. As we go on to question three, we're the bonus SB. Here we go, Q3. The Hills were alive with the sound of winning in 1966 for this Julie Andrews movie. Was it Victor Victoria, The Sound of Music, or Mary Poppins? Which of those won the best picture? Julie Andrews won Best Actress at the 1965 Oscars, but her movie Mary Poppins lost Best Picture. In 1966, the roles were reversed as The Sound of Music won Best Picture, while Andrews lost the Best Actress. The Sound of Music is the answer. 98% of you getting that one right. Well done. You're moving on. That's that. You're making some dough which in this case is not a deer, a female deer. It's SB, right? I, I tried to make it a song, and I didn't. What was my other? I had another good song here. Oh, you solved a problem like question three. That's what it was. <laughs> get it? How do you solve a problem like? You get it. We're on to question four. Worth a bonus, SB. Here we go. Are you not entertained by this 2001 Best Picture winner with Russell Crowe and Joaquin Phoenix? Was it Ben-Hur, Rome, or Gladiator? Are you not entertained? I, I think that helped, me saying it that way. A throwback to the historical epics of the 1950s and 1960s, Ridley Scott struck gold with the story of a man with nothing left to lose. The Oscar went to Gladiator! 93% of you getting that one right and moving on. And if I am correct, Russell Crowe took home the Best Actor Award for that one as well. Am I right? Or was that a beautiful mind? Did he win it both times? 
But we're talking about best pictures, not best actors, so let's just keep it moving. I'm pretty sure I'm right on at least one of those. We're moving on to question five. Worth a bonus, SB. Here we go. Q5. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, the 1944 Oscar for Best Picture walked into this place. Was it Casablanca, the Bridge on the River Kwai, or Grand Hotel? What was the 1944 Oscar for Best Picture? More than just an award winner, it's arguably the best movie of all time. For sure, it's in the top ten. It's directed by Michael Curtiz and starring Humphrey Bogart. The Oscar went to Casablanca. 97% of you got that one right. Well done. You're moving on Bridge over the or Bridge on the River Kwai. Another great movie as well, starring Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, yeah. So I'm also getting that um, it looks like it looks like Russell Crowe did not win for Beautiful Mind. No, he was nominated though. Uh, Casablanca was the answer. I I would say it's definitely a top ten movie. I don't know if it's the best movie that for me. But it's, it's like considered the best movie. Let's go on to Q6. We're halfway done with the quiz. You're earning all those bonus SB. Let's get you some more here, shall we? Q6. Where the bonus SB. In 1973, the Oscar was an offer Brando could refuse. But the producers accepted the Best Picture Award for this movie. Was it The Deer Hunter, The Godfather, or One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? 1973 Best Picture. Adapted from a best-selling book, it has spawned two sequels, each of which were also nominated for Best Picture. And there's also a TV show about that whole process of making this movie now. The Oscar went to The Godfather. There are 96% of you getting that one right. 15,649 of you. Well done. Uh, I gotta say, folks, as well, I'm gonna brag a little bit. One time, we're talking about The Godfather. I don't know if I've brought this up before, but one time, uh, the producer of The Godfather, Alan Ruddy, he came to a show that I was in, and he told me, you've got the flair, kid. That's how he sounded. You've got the flair, kid. So, <laughs> casting directors, uh, the producer of The Godfather says I've got the flair. So, I'm just, if you're, if you're playing right now, I'm just saying, <laughs> I've got the flair. Let's go on to question seven. Worth a bonus, SB. If you get it right, here we go, Q7. Meryl Streep's incredible performance helped this movie win the Oscar for Best Picture in 1986. Was it Kramer vs. Kramer, Sophie's Choice, or Out of Africa? All right. Meryl plays a well-heeled Danish lady who goes to an English colony in Africa and buys 1,000 acres of land in this Sidney Pollock film, the Oscar went to out of Africa. Whoa, this was the toughest one yet. Best picture went to out of Africa, but only 2,610 have got that one right. That's less than 17% of you. A lot of people, 23% going with Sophie's Choice, 60% of people went with Kramer versus Kramer, so I'm really hoping that we get a lot of rejoins right now. We lost 12,921 of you who were still going for the money on that one. Get back in here. Get back in here. You can always earn more rejoins. I told you how to do that. You just click that button on the screen and then you can watch the videos and then and then you get the rejoins. Okay? So get the rejoins afterwards. Get the like use the rejoin now. Get them afterwards cuz we've only got 3 questions left. Each of them has a bonus SB attached to it still. So at the very least you're playing for that. And remember, if you win an SB and you click claim on it, you could win the 500 SB that we give away in this game at the end of it. You'd find out on Monday, okay? So keep playing as we go on to question number eight, where the bonus SB. This 1992 Best Picture Oscar winner would like to eat your liver with some fava beans and a nice bottle of Chianti. Is it Silence of the Lambs, American Beauty, or The English Patient? Don't worry, movies can't actually eat your liver. Now, the psychological thriller took a leap with this movie that turned Anthony Hopkins into a megastar and won Jodie Foster her second statue. The Oscar went to Silence of the Lambs. 99% of you getting that one right. 11,383 of you moving on. Well done. Silence of the Lambs is the answer. I'm going to be honest, I have not seen this one. Mainly because I don't really like scary movies. And I know this is a scary movie, but I also know it's so well acted. And so I think one night, 
maybe maybe like just at noon I'll do it. I'll watch the movie so that there's plenty of light happening and I'll still have all the lights on in the house and I'll probably still be scared. It's fine. I'm going to watch it is what I'm getting at. We're moving on to question nine, though. It's worth a bonus. Bonus SB if you get it right. Here we go. Q9. The boat may have sunk, but this James Cameron epic about it floated to the top, winning the Oscar for Best Picture in 1998. Was it Braveheart, Wings, or Titanic? James Cameron may only make epics at this point. Raking in over a billion dollars worldwide, it was the most financially and critically successful movie of all time when it came out. The Oscar went to Titanic. 99.6% of you getting that one right. 11,254 of you have made it this far and are ready for our final question. Congratulations. You are crushing it. You are one question away from taking home the little as the little gold statue that is the SB that you're going to win. That's pretty much what's happening, right? Now, look, you should always start your day with a healthy breakfast and end it with a big bowl of trivia. So join us Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, for the best of both worlds. A breakfast cereal-themed game. We're going to see you then. I'm definitely going to hang out at the very least for this game. I'm, I'm playing this one because I am eating cereal every day of my life. It is. It is true. No, you know what? I didn't have cereal today. We had pancakes. It was a special morning. 99% of the mornings I'm eating cereal. So I think I can, I think I can do pretty good at that game. Now, I also want to tell you about Grove Company, which makes sustainable living simple. Powerful performance, refillable bottles, no plastic waste. Plus, it can earn you SB. Here's how. Add Grove Company to your list in Magic Receipts, then buy one eligible Grove Company product in-store at Walmart and get 200 SB when you upload a photo of your receipt as proof of purchase. Buy two on the same receipt and get 600 SB. Now, you have to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this offer, but check it out after the game. Buy Grove Company at Walmart and earn sustainable living simple. Isn't that what we want? We want sustainable living, and we want things to be simple. So there you go. All right, we're back at it. This is it. This is essentially the best picture of the quiz, folks. It's question 10. It's what we've all been waiting for. It's worth a bonus SB if you get it right. We've got 11,266 of you still in it to win it. Over 20,300 people hanging out and having fun going for those bonus SB if they're not still in it to win it. So here we go. For all the marbles, Q10. After winning the Oscar for Best Picture in 1977 for this movie, Sly Stallone should have screamed, Yo, Adrian! I did it! Was it Traffic, Rocky, or The Sting? And if you ask me, that was a spot-on Stallone. Now, his whole life was a million-to-one shot. And so was Syl Sylvester Stallone, going from obscurity to writing and directing a sports movie masterpiece. The Oscar went to Rocky. Rocky is the answer. 11,109 of you knew that answer, and you're splitting our grand prize. Congratulations, everybody. You've done it. They're, the whole crowd is standing up there applauding you. Ah, I can't believe it. Let's take a look at some of those winners that are taking the stage right now. We've got Kaylee Keaton, who is a winner. Congratulations to you. We've got, uh, let's see, Fortner Laurie 333 Laurie, congratulations. To Delroy Vicier25, Melissa17J. Nancy N63, Mom of Three Mom is a winner. Lazy Noodle is a winner as well. Hey, Lazy Noodle, your noodle was not lazy today. It was it was on fire. You you won. Frazier Mama72, and so many more of you. Cusack fan 01. Now are we talking Joan or are we talking John? Or maybe their grandfather, whose name I'm blanking on. We're on, I'm talking about movies, so I figured I'd, I'd point out Cusack fan because they're such a big fan of Cusack. What are we talking about? Are we talking about Runaway Jury? Are we talking about Joan in School of Rock? Look, I could talk about movies for a while, but we got to wrap this up. Now that you have all these new SB in your account, you know what to do with them. Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Seriously, great job. All week long, you did it. 
We're going to see you on Monday for our amazingly fun serial-themed game. Thanks for playing Swagbucks Live. We'll see you then.